You know, when you just open the door and you look outside and based on the weather and how you're feeling, you kind of know what kind of day it's going to be like. It's going to be a rough day or it's going to be a good day. You either feel good or you feel bad. And there's so much just in that one moment. And the Prophet ﷺ gave us this beautiful remembrance to start off our day outside of the home, right? So you wake up with Fajr, with remembrance and things of that sort. But as you're opening your door in those moments and you're about to step out into the world, the Prophet ﷺ said, those two angels that are protecting you, they come next to you. And at that moment when you say, Bismillah, وَتَوَكَّلْتُ عَلَى اللَّهِ وَلَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ Bismillah, وَتَوَكَّلْتُ عَلَى اللَّهِ وَلَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ It's not a complicated form of remembrance. Bismillah, in the name of Allah. تَوَكَّلْتُ عَلَى اللَّهِ I put my trust in Allah. وَلَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ And there is no power or might except that which belongs to Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said, when you say that as you're entering into the world, exiting outside of your house, those angels respond to you. And as you say, Bismillah, they say, in the name of Allah, you've been guided. And you say, Tawakkaltu ala Allah, I've put my full trust in Allah. They say, you've been defended against anyone that's going to try to harm you today. And then they say, وَلَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ And there's no power or might except that which belongs to Allah. They say, and you've been protected from all harm for the day. And as you say that, as you're entering into this world, the two shayateen that come to attack you, two devils that want to attack you for the day, one of them says to the other, what can we do with a person who's been guided, defended, and protected? And so they know they can't mess with you for the entire day and they abandon you for the rest of the day. This is a powerful connection to a very famous story with Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Umar radiallahu anhu was so pure, obviously, that he didn't just say these words, he lived these words of Bismillah tawakkaltu ala Allah wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. He had such a desire to be guided that the Prophet sallallahu said that he was naturally guided to the truth because the angels would speak to him just like he was spoken to where his, his intuition just matched divine guidance. He had such trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he couldn't be harmed from anyone else. And the power of Umar came from his belief in the power of Allah. And the famous story is that the Prophet sallallahu said that when Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu takes a path, the shaitan takes another path. The shaitan will not even be seen on the same street as Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. How do we bring that into our own lives? As we're entering into the world. Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah. Wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. In the name of Allah, I've put my trust in Allah. And there is no power or might except that which is with Allah. And the angels responding saying, you've been guided, you will be defended, you will be protected and your shayateen knowing that you are going to be under the protection of the angels and the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout the day. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too, so please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.